Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, touch to the latest iOS. It's the same thing for all of them. So let's just go right into your settings. Under your settings, your very first option, you guys will see your name or your device's name. Just go into there, make that iCloud backup. That's the very first thing I usually tell you guys to do. Or just hook it up to your computer and use iTunes if you guys have a PC in order to make that backup. iTunes is a free program for both Mac and PC. However, Macs, if you have them up to date right now, you just have to hook them up and use Finder in order to make that backup. Anyways, let's just go down and you guys will see General. Under General, we will see the second option, Software Update. Under Software Update, just have to wait a little bit and then this should pop up. It's only 613 megabytes. That's a little bit over half a gig. So for most of you, this will only take about 10 minutes with slowish Wi-Fi. With pretty fast Wi-Fi, it shouldn't take you more than five minutes in total download plus installation time. But it all depends what iDevice you guys have plus how fast your internet is. Well, most of you will see download and install. If you don't see download and install, you just see install. That just means it downloaded already for you, which can happen a lot of times. So right now you guys just need to install. So at this point, if we click on download and install, it's going to ask you for your passcode if you have one then it's gonna give you this message. So the very first stage is downloading. If it turns off once you're downloading, it's no big deal. However, if it turns off or something happens when it's actually installing the update, then you're gonna have to restore it. That means wiping everything clean from it. And that's why you guys made that backup so you guys can load everything back to it. That's the worst case scenario. So make sure you guys have at least 50% of your battery. Even if you have more than 50% of your battery, I highly suggest just hooking up some electricity once it's done downloading, we're just going to press uninstall now. It's going to verify and then it's going to restart. Now you're going to see exactly this an Apple logo loading bar. That's going to happen once. It's going to go kind of slow. And then a second time, we're going to see an Apple logo in a loading bar. This time it's going to go a lot, a lot faster. After that, it's just going to restart. You're going to see this option. Then we should see this screen. I just tap on continue. You can choose to share your audio recordings or not. This is totally up to you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and share it. Welcome to iPhone, get started, and we are all done. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.